God is not seeking those to ask him for things so as though he may then say those are things that he wants because we want them. He's looking for those who are asking to see what he sees so that they will want what he already he's wants. He's got his son there and his son is he's possessed, you know. And there's a scripture like that in chapter 9 of Mark where there's this boy that was possessed of a devil, foaming at the mouth. The devil throws his body in the fire, throws him in the water, does all these things to try to kill him. And Jesus just says, get out of him and don't come back anymore. And the devil leaves him. And you can, and then they say they're amazed. They're all amazed. But amazed doesn't really cover the word. You think about it. And the word they used to describe amazed was just like almost passing out. They're like terrified. They're like, we can't believe what we just saw. We don't even know how to process that. It was so amazing. But I don't think that that's the only wonder, the only amazement, the only thing to behold in his greatness. His greatness is an everyday thing. And me and my wife have been like on the search for years now and it's getting more and more where we appreciate this amazing greatness of God everywhere we were both I didn't know she was doing it I was doing it today too we were out there just looking at the sky videotaping the sky taking pictures of the sky the sky is amazing it's absolutely amazing when you think about it from this pro, uh, from this aspect once there was nothing I mean in the physical realm there was nothing there was just God and he is a spirit, and a spirit doesn't occupy space. It doesn't have matter like this, and it doesn't even travel through time. It just is. He just was. And he decided out of nothing, out of nothing but the power of his mind and his thoughts and his commands, he created all that, the heavens, this amazing heaven. We can look out at this beautiful blue and these white clouds and the sky. The sun comes in, the sun comes out. And I know he made all that, and the sun is millions of miles away. And here it is, it's lighting our day, it's powering us with solar power, and it, and, the, and it grows our gardens and does all these amazing things. And we just walk along, do 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 all day, like, you know, whatever, it's just another day, you know. It's not, we're not amazed, we're not a wonder. And what I want to talk about here is kind of like cultivating that, cultivating that in our hearts, so where you can just kind of like step outside of the everyday, any day, any moment of any day and just kind of look around you and go, wow, that tree is amazing, you know? Or even like a nature show, it might be something on a video, but just in the world itself, you don't have to go looking for it. It's everywhere, God's creation, God's beauty, God's amazing greatness is truly everywhere for us to see. I mean, you can't escape it when you think about it. When you think about it, just even the human body, the intricacies, all these people that say we came from monkeys, the more they study it, Science, by trying to prove that there is no God, is proving day by day there can't be anything but a God. Because we're so complicated, the tiniest little protein that's in your skin that generates a tiny little bit of energy that you need is so complicated they can't even explain it. There's more information in one little tiny protein cell than they can even, they can even fill up in their whole professor libraries. It's amazing. There's so much in what God... Uh, and what God's creation holds. So that's it. I just want to get right in the scripture. And the, all of our King James, except where I say up front, and it says, like that one says GNB, that means a good news Bible. And it's very faithful. It's very uh, faithful to the original words. It's just, I like the way it says it. So I didn't use the King James on that. So first one we go to is Job 26, 7. It says, God stretched out the northern sky and hung the earth in empty space. <laughs> I mean, think about it. We see those videos, right? Mm -hmm. Where we uh, guys, you know, they're staring at the moon, or they're in a spaceship, and they're looking at the they're looking at the earth. The earth is just hanging there. It's just hanging there. We never really stop and think about that. We go, oh yeah, that's a picture of the earth. Yeah, the guy was in space. Yep, you do. No, the earth is just hanging there, and it's going like 20,000 miles an hour, and it's spinning 1,000 miles an hour, and it's flying through space in a galaxy that's expanding, and a sun that's moving all over the place, and there's all these amazing things happening, and we just look at it and go, hmm. But it's just hanging there, but it's not just hanging there. It's hanging there by the word of his...